Hey, it's Jens. In today's video, we're gonna focus on several different flushes when growing mushrooms. I've seen a lot of commercial mushroom growers that only use their first flush and then they throw their bags away because they say they need the room for new bags and save time. Basically, they don't have enough time to wait till the second or the third flush appear. This may make sense when the second or the third flush is really bad, especially when growing on Masters Mix. Because normally on Masters Mix, the first flush is huge and then the second and the third is not that good. So I made this video and created some time-lapse footage of the first and the second flush growing pink oyster mushroom on Master Mix to show you what is actually possible under the right conditions for a second flush. Before I'm gonna tell you what I did between the first and the second flush, let's take a look at the footage I took of the first flush. Here are the growing conditions I used for the first flush. And now it is very important that we seal our bag to not risk any contamination. And therefore I'm going to use a micropore. So I'm just using a few stripes of this micropore tape to seal the square I cut into the bag and then I waited one week. So I removed the tape, put it back into my fruiting tent and this is what happened. So when you let the mushroom time to recover, this may be one week, maybe two weeks, maybe you need to rehydrate the block. When you grow, for example, oyster, you can keep the mushroom inside the bag so there's no loss of humidity and no real need to rehydrate the block. So then you just have to seal the cuttings with micropore, wait a week, put it back into the fruiting tent and the second flush might be as big as the first one. It does also depend on the weight of the bag. So for example, here I've used a six pound bag and with Masters Mix, it is possible to get around three pounds of mushrooms with a bag like this. So when the first flush was not too big, normally there's enough energy stored inside your block for several more flushes. So it is very important that you remove everything that grew on the block because this is a good starting point for any mold, any contamination. I hope you think that this video was helpful and that you enjoyed the time-lapse footage. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you on the next.